Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. Did you know that God's word spoken out of your mouth is one of the most powerful forces on earth? The Bible in Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, especially when you're using your tongue to speak God's word out of your mouth. And there are four things, four powerful things that God does for you when you speak his word out of your mouth. Number one, God moves your mountains. Just like what I shared with you last time, when you speak the word of God out of your mouth in faith, God will move your mountain, that any mountain being any problem, any tough situation that you're facing. God will turn it around. The Lord Jesus Christ said that if you have faith and you say to this mountain, move from here to there, it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. So when you speak the word of God out of your mouth, when you say the word of God in faith, to that problem, that situation, whatever it is you're going to going through, the Bible says that God will make the mountain move and turn the impossible to become possible. The second thing that's going to happen when you speak the word of God out of your mouth is this. God will mobilize his angels to help you. The Bible in Hebrews 1.14 tells us that the angels of God are spirits who serve God and they are sent by God to help those who receive salvation. If you have received Christ's gift of salvation, I tell you, God has angels that he wants to send to help you in time of need, to help protect you, to help provide for you. However, God sends his angels only after you speak his word out of your mouth. The Bible tells us in Psalm 103, 20, bless the Lord, you, his angels who excel in strength, heeding the voice of his word. So it is God's word spoken out of your mouth. It is when you give voice to the word of God. That's when the angels are going to be sent by God to help you, to minister to you in whatever way you need at that time. So first of all, when you speak God's word out of your mouth, God's going to move your mountains. Secondly, he's going to mobilize his angels on your behalf. And thirdly, he's going to perform miracles for you. I tell you, the key to experiencing the miraculous in your life is not to be silent, is to speak the word of God out of your mouth. Psalm 107 verse 20, the Bible says that God sent his word. Did you hear that? God sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. So God didn't just heal. He heals by sending his word, which is in essence speaking when you speak uh, his word out of your mouth. That's what he says in Isaiah 57, 13. God says, I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him who is far off and to him who is near, says the Lord, and I will heal him. So God creates, it's your words. Your words are the material that God uses to create your miracle. I'm going to say that again. His word spoken out of your mouth is the, is the material that God uses to create the miracle that you want. So the third thing that God does when you speak his word out of your mouth. He uses those words to create the miracle that you need. And so whatever it is you need from the Lord to happen in your life, speak God's word over it. And God is going to use that same word to create the miracle that you need. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 that everything visible that we see today was created by the spoken word of God. Last but not the least, when you speak God's word out of your mouth, when you speak scripture out of your mouth with faith, the fourth thing that God's going to do, God is going to make what you say to come true for you. The Bible in Job chapter 22 verse 28 says, you will pronounce something to be and he will make it so. That's why you have to be careful with what you say. When you speak the word of God out of your mouth, I'm healed, I'm strong, I'm fit, I have the mind of Christ, I will live, I will not die. When you say the word of God over yourself, 
The Bible in Job 22, 28 says, God will make it so. You will pronounce something to be and he will make it so. So whatever you don't want to see, don't say it. Whatever you want God to make so, say it out of your mouth. And that's why the Bible in Psalm 107, 2 says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So go ahead and say everything you want to make what you want to see God make to be so in your life. Open your mouth and say it. Watch God move your mountains. Watch God mobilize angels for you. Watch God perform miracles in your life and watch God make happen whatever it is you speak out of your mouth. I trust you were blessed today. Please share this word by word by podcast with a friend and also subscribe if you've not already done so to this Knowing God Media channel. Tune back next week for another great Word by Podcast.